Hello and welcome to my video number two. Mr.net is here in the previous video of our Sudoku tutorial. We created two game scenes one game scene, the main game scene with the three buttons, and the other game scene with a panel. And if I start the game scene, this panel is filled with 81 prefabs for our Sudoku game and in this video we work on this scene. So if we look to this game scene here we see that we want to save informations in our prefabs. What I mean is when I instantiate this prefab, for example, I want to know which position is this prefab or which value has the prefab. So if I open my prefab in the scene with right click, I insert a new game object, a text. So I have to scale this text because my prefab has only 50 width and 50 height. So the text has 45 width and 45 height. And the value of the text is only a single number. The number has to be placed in the middle. And also I can change the font size. Okay, 20 is too small, 35 is too small, I take the size 40. For this tutorial, we let the text of the prefab empty. I want to fill the prefab at runtime in my source code. For that, I open Visual Studio, go into my English game script and inside this script I instantiate all prefabs and the instantiate method returns me a game object and this game object is the new created instance. So I say here game object with the name instance is the return value of my instantiate method and now I can access through my instance child components and one child component is the text here of my prefab so I say instance get components in children from type text if this if you don't find this text you have to use using unity engine dot ui so instance dot get component in child ran from type text then I get a text back and this text object has the property text and I set the value of the text and this is the I of my for each of my for loop and this is a type int you need a type string so I use I dot to string I save this script, I go back to Unity and I start the game. We see that our that our grid layout is filled with is filled with our prefabs and each prefab has its own value. So if I open this scene here, 
and if I start the game I have here my field prefabs with the text 0 that's this this one here if your game or your grid layout looks different you have to look to the Sudoku field panel and inside the grid layout group you can change the start corner I have upper left if I do upper right and I start the game we see that the zero starts from the right but for this tutorial we need it upper left that I can save the values or the information of each prefab I go into my script folder and with right click I create a new object I call this object the field prefab object and with OK I have in the previous video also a field prefab object so I call this the English field prefab object with double click I open my script you see that the name isn't changed so I have here to write English field prefab object and I don't need the start method or the update method and I also don't need to inherit from the mono behavior the first thing what I do is I implement the constructor of my English field prefab object and as an argument I get a game object that's the current instance of the property of the field prefab and I want also save the information the row and the column of the of the field prefab so inside this class I have a private int underline row property I have also a column property and I have a private game object which is my instance and inside this constructor I set I set this properties based on the arguments from my constructor well I save this so I have an English field preform object and in my game in this loop I create a field uh, English field prefab object I call it the English field prefab object with new English field prefab object and we see that I have to give this constructor three arguments the first argument was the instance and the second two and the second and the third argument are the row and the column so to get the row and the column I change this loop here for that I create here a new for loop and the number is not I the number is row it starts from 0 smaller than 9 and inside this loop I create a second for loop I call the value I here column and it starts from 0 
to smaller 9. Then I can copy these three lines here and paste it here into my loops so I don't need this for loop here. I also don't have to, s to set the text of the current instance. We do it a little bit later, so I delete this. And now I can use the row and the column for my constructor here. The next thing is I do not want to have this loop in my start method, so I create a private void create field prefabs method. And this method has the has these loops which creates an instance and it also creates the English field prefab object and in my start method I invoke this method here. So now if I create this English field prefab object I have to save it and I want to save it in a dictionary so private dictionary and the key is a type tuple which is in using system and the tuple has two integer values or integer values and the value of the dictionary is the English field prefab object so I call this dictionary the English field prefab object underline English field prefab object dictionary and it is a new dictionary well I hope hopefully you can read this so I zoom a little bit into the code hopefully it is better so now I have a, a English field prefab object dictionary and inside this two loops here I say English field prefab object dictionary dot add and the key is a new tuple with the value row and column and the value of the dictionary is the current English field prefab object. So what I have done is I invoke this method here when I start the game. I create for each prefab a new instance and a new English field prefab object which contains information about my, my prefab and this information object is stored in this dictionary so I can access at runtime my prefabs based on the position well that's it I collapse this and I save this I go back to unity and if I start my English game we see the values are empty because I delete the the, 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 the method which set the value of the of this prefab but for the first time it is okay so that's it for this video hopefully I explained it well if you like it give me a thumb up or subscribe my channel or give me a feedback so I can improve my videos for you and hopefully I see you in the next video bye